Hello, I'm going to record uh, a demonstration of SOLIDWORKS simulation, beam calculation, and I'm going to you show in this calculation how you show the shear moment diagrams with help of SOLIDWORKS simulation. So this is the situation I'm going to cal calculate, and it's a, a, a bar with a couple of wheels that extend the force on the bar. These are bearings that can only generate a vertical load, no moment, so they, they won't be able to resist any moment. So this is the situation I'm going to calculate. I've first done it by hand, so it's all in Dutch over here, but uh, this is how you draw your elastic line of only half of this situation. It's 400 newtons here, caused by the pulling on the wheel. And this is an easy calculation with help of the, the table that's in the last page of Hibbler strength of materials book. So I'll show you which superpositions you need to use. You only need to use this one and this one and the force is on half of the length so you can use these two superpositions easily to get your right answer for this question because it's a statically indeterminate situation. So I've done, I've done the calculation here by hand this is the, the place where I cut the beam in half, so it's point B. Here's the 400 Newton, you can easily use symmetry and then you'll find, because of the superpositions that I've just shown, that the displacement over here should be zero. So you can use the two superpositions to, to use this force and see what the displacement of the beam is because of that force and then you use this second superposition, so the, the, the two I just showed you to generate one uh, equation for the reaction force in point A and with that I find that the reaction force in point A because it's a statically indeterminate situation you cannot generate this answer by just putting the sum of all forces to zero you have to use the superpositions that I just showed so we find this is the reaction force and I'm gonna show that in SOLIDWORKS. I've already uh, set up the simulation, but I'm going to do the symmetrical version of it. So I ran the full simulation of the situation. And that's what we see here. It's the, the, the shear diagram. And I can also show how you plot the moment. So here with beam diagram, I'm going to guess that it's going to be the moment in direction two with SOLIDWORKS. Usually I will just guess, yeah, and I, in this case I was right, so uh, here we see the, the moment diagram and it's already pre-calculated over here as well. And we see the maximum of a moment of 125 here is roughly the same. So this is the, the SOLIDWORKS moment diagram that's comparable to the one I see here that's hand calculated. So now I'm going to show you how to set up the symmetrical version of this in SOLIDWORKS simulation going to create a new file and I'm going to sketch two lines of one meter. Previously I needed two but in, in the symmetrical version one so, and get one more line. I'll put them on equal, equal length and then the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use weldments to generate a structural member over here which will automatically cause SOLIDWORKS to do a beam calculation. I'll save the file under the name symmetrical like that. Then I'm going to do a, a simulation study. It only works if the add-in, so here tools, add-ins, simulation should be activated. It's only working in the SOLIDWORKS premium version. So now I'm going to do a new study and if I do it in the premium version usually I get more study options over here when I have the simulation professional or pro simulation pro premium as well. In this case I only see static, doesn't matter, and SOLIDWORKS will automatically set up a beam calculation because of that. I'm going to just choose a material, doesn't matter for this calculation because uh, just in a calculation by hand you saw that it's not depending on the elast mode of elasticity or the uh, any other details of the beams, what the reaction forces should be. 
Then I'm gonna fix geometry. Let me see, for the symmetrical version, I'm gonna fix this point, but not completely fix it. I, I am. I should completely fix it. Immovable just stops a point from moving. This one also stops it from moving and rotating. And if I look at the symmetrical situation over here, that's what I need. So that's uh, that's fixed. Then I'm gonna put a force of 400 newtons. Let me see on this one in this direction. Can use any random straight line to generate the direction of this force, 400 newton. Okay, and the other one, the other force, uh, the reaction force should be just a fixture. So fixed geometry, and in this case, use ge reference geometry, and this direction should be fixed for this joint. And by activating this button. I should see uh, a green thing here, a green arrow, to show that it won't be moving in that direction anymore and it can still move in any other direction. So that should be good. I'm going to save the file just before running it. And then I'm going to choose run. And if everything is correct, I should see exactly the same results when I generate a beam diagram. So the shear force and direction one, usually that's just a gamble see if I chose correctly and indeed so I get a 125 roughly of result force and I've just calculated that here as well with the superpositions and the reaction force here should be that and then I'm gonna, gonna have a look at the moment diagram well, first I can compare this by the way to uh, the hand calculated result that's over here so 125 and minus 275 I see that's roughly the same only in this case for the symmetrical version and I'm gonna go back and generate a beam diagram the moment in direction 2 usually just a guess but when you use the shear force in direction 1 you should use the moment in direction 2 and if you guess wrong you'll just have to plot the other result and if I look at this this will be the symmetrical version of this situation plus 125 and minus 150 so yeah roughly the same values so uh, I've just shown you how to set up a beam calculation in SOLIDWORKS simulation